Unfolding before our eyes on the island of Hawaii is a mesmerizing window into Kilauea Volcano. When Mark Twain witnessed a Kilauea lava lake in 1866, he remarked that the site fascinated the eye with its unapproachable splendor. But the story of this lava lake is more than splendor. Kilauea, this volcano, in general is a very sacred place. Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, which is right behind me, is even more sacred because that is literally the home of Pele, who is the volcano deity. Kilauea has long been known to be a marvelous natural laboratory for the study of volcanoes because it is frequently active. We have such wonderful science that we're doing here, uh, tremendous insights into how the volcano works and how the lava lake behaves. The lava lake within Halima'uma'u, a crater at the summit of Kilauea, is one of the two largest lava lakes on Earth. There are few features like this lava flow upon lava flow, building a gently sloped shield volcano that eventually emerged above sea level. Today, Kilauea's summit rises to an elevation of just over 4,000 feet. About 500 years ago, the top of Kilauea collapsed, forming the summit caldera we see today. Within this caldera is Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater. For centuries, Hawaiians chronicled an intimate oral history of Kilauea through chants. Written records began with the arrival of missionaries in 1823. For the next 100 years, a nearly continuous lava lake existed at Hale Ma'u Ma'u. Its eruptions were a tremendous draw for visitors. When geologist Thomas Jagger first came to Kilauea in 1909, he deemed it the ideal site for the systematic study of volcanic activity. In 1912, he established the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Four years later, the National Park was created. Today, about half of Kilauea lies within the boundaries of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. In 1924, violent explosive eruptions doubled the diameter of Hale Ma'u Ma'u to more than 3,000 feet. After the explosions, short-lived lava lakes occurred in Hale Ma'u Ma'u until 1934. Then the entire volcano went quiet for 18 years. Lava returned to Hale Ma'u Ma'u in 1952 with intermittent eruptions until 1982. The summit of Kilauea was then quiet until 2008. And by mid-January, the, the values that, of uh, sulfur dioxide emissions from Kilauea's summit caldera were higher than we'd seen them in over 20 years. And the numbers kept going up. And the chemistry, the overall chemistry of those gases had changed dramatically. That's when we really knew that something was up. <laughs> 